The School of Aquaponics. The Return of Mukhtar. This is one of the students that previously uh, submitted a, a blueprint. We did a review on it and uh, sent some feedback, and now he's sending an updated version um, of that blueprint. So we're going to go ahead and just go over it so you can see what's going on, the gist of it. So we have our sump tank here comes up. We split the flow. So we have maximum control. Then it comes over into um, a few beds, and then it runs down over into the NFT system. And then it goes on the outlet, um, connects to one large return pipe, which connects all the way back to the sump tank. And then on the other part of the splitting flow, um, we connect to the uh, fish tanks here. Um, each one of these is connecting. And then it sub splits into other um, sections for more control on these uh, fish tanks. So, and then it comes back from there into a mechanical filter and then it all comes back to the sump. Everything returns back to the sump. So this is the gist of the blueprint here. So what I like here is we have control. We have control on this system. The NFT uh, portion here, everything is split and uh, 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 controlled and uh, sectioned off. So everything is fine there. Make sure we have some ball valves on there to control the flow, uh, the flow rate. And uh, that part looks good. Check mark for that. So then we come to the media bed system here. And here you have the media bed uh, gravity fed to the second media bed. That's what you have it. So this tells me here that you had a nightmare, a split flow nightmare that occurred. So um, the problem here that you can expect, this will work. You can make this work, but you're going to have to do a lot of Einstein E equals MC squaring. That's going to have to be going on a lot because you have to make sure that the, the, the flow rate that triggers the siphon um, for the, uh, the, the first media bed, you have to make sure that that's the, that's the same flow rate that triggers the, si the, the siphon on the media bed behind it. And a lot of times it's not going to be depending on the volume and the size of the grow beds in relation to one another. So th there's, a, there's a lot of adjustments that we, you were probably going to end up making if you do it this way. I mean, uh, it can work though. It can work though, but I would just pr prefer to just split the flow up and control each one of them so I can, I can kind of uh, uh, dial in the knobs for media bed number one and get that flood and drain system fine and then dial in the knobs for uh, media bed number two instead of trying to figure out dialing in the, 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 the knob for media bed number one to be sufficient for one and two. Like that's double the work. It's, it's more difficult, but I'm not saying that you cannot do it, but I would just come up, split the flow, have um, each one of them their own separate um, flow and then I would just come out and let them both have their own connection to a return line and then connect back to the main, um, the main uh, return line. And I would do the same thing like that for each and every one of these. Now, moving along to this deep water culture system here. Now, we can look and see that there's no inlet. So the water is just not going to just jump from the sump tank to the deep water culture system. But I'm assuming that this was by accident. I, we can tell that you already know that a inlet needs to go there. So we just add that there. On, uh, on part of our main line, and then that will take care of that portion of it. Everything else is fine. So we can move on to the fish tank part, which is connected from the split flow, and then it comes up, and there's sub-splits that are taking place, which is fine and dandy, super good. Now, the only problem is you have the splits coming back to the mechanical filter, and that is incorrect. We would have to cut this line. At this last fish tank, that is the end of the yellow brick road. That's it. We need to create outlets from these fish tanks, either coming from the side, you'll either have a, um, a solids lift overflow coming in from the side, or it'll be co coming in from the middle um, and the bottom of these tanks. And that is what will lift up the solids out of these fish tanks, and that'll bring those down to the mechanical filter where we can remove the solids and prevent them from returning uh, back to the sump tank. And that's pretty much the gist of that right there. That takes care of it. Easy, simple, quick fix, and that'll be it. And make sure for your mechanical filter that the mechanical filter, the outlet is higher than the um, than the inlet of the sump tank. We want to make sure that that is higher, so we would uh, bring up, raise up the mechanical filter outlet, so we can go on over the top of the sump tank to ensure that we have correct water levels in the mechanical filter and in the sump tank. So this is pretty much it. Um, overall, good job. Um, we're one step closer um, to getting your system going. Um, start building and operating, start working out some of the kinks, and then you'll be growing in no time and be one step closer to becoming an aquaponic God. Woo!